Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Libby here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another DIY tutorial and after the feedback that I got from the last one that I did, you guys were definitely clamouring for another one. I decided to do one on how to clean your makeup brushes using really, really cheap household items. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, you're going to need two bowls, preferably ceramic or china, because you're going to be using material that can cause metal to do very strange things. The first thing you're going to need is white vinegar, and you can buy this at any supermarket for less than 50 pence. It's an amazing cleaning agent and disinfects as well, which is awesome. It's also really softening, which is perfect for use on makeup brushes, and it works best when you warm it up in the microwave for around a minute. Make sure it's warm and not hot. In the other bowl, you're going to be making a mixture of hot water and soda crystals. Soda crystals are usually found in the washing and cleaning section of supermarkets and hardware stores, and they are worth their weight in gold. They will literally obliterate makeup. Pour in quite a hefty amount, and then boil a kettle and pour that water over the top of them. It will turn into a nice cloudy mixture. Put a mug full of vinegar into the microwave for around a minute, and then pour that into the other bowl. Now take a makeup brush that definitely needs cleaning, and start swirling it quickly in the soda crystals and water mixture. Then take it out and swirl it into the warm vinegar. Notice how I'm pressing the bristles quite hard against the bottom to really get that mixture into them. Repeat this process until your brush is clean. It'll take less than a minute for each brush. It shouldn't take much longer than that, depending on how dirty your makeup brush is. I specifically chose this one because it's really, really, really packed full of dark shadow, but just look at how much of it has come out. The brush almost looks completely clean. This is such a cheap way of cleaning your makeup brushes, it's not even funny. Now, when you think your brush is done, dip it once more into the vinegar because it's so softening and conditioning, and then start to dab it off onto a piece of kitchen roll. Now, you can do this with any kind of makeup brush you've got, whether it's a blending brush, a flat shader brush, even face brushes, just kind of add a little more if the brush is bigger. And make sure to reshape your bristles at the end, just so that when they dry, they don't dry all squiffy and then just work through all of your dirty makeup brushes. I'm just showing you different brushes and just the effects that this mixture has on them. Just look, it's just gone. It's amazing. Now the main thing to note is that this mixture, this whole method, works on both natural bristles and on synthetic bristles. So I'll just show you what this whole little thing does to synthetic bristles as well. Now if your mixture starts to cool down at any point, just reboil the kettle, top it up with the hot water, just make sure that it doesn't go cold because the effects of this are so much better when the water is warm and as well when the vinegar is warm. Now I'll just show you what this whole thing does to a face brush. Make sure to really press the bristles onto the bottom of the bowl. Really get that product working. Just look at the makeup coming off it, it's amazing. Now these two items will cost you less than two quid. Plus, they both have hundreds of other uses, so you'll really get your money's worth out of them, and then some. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you found it helpful or instructive, or you just thought it was a nice, thrifty, frugal way of cleaning your makeup brushes. Let me know how you guys get on. If you want to film it yourself, put it as a response to this video. If not, just let me know how you got on and comment below, or if you just enjoyed the video, let me know anyway. And I'll see you guys soon in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.